Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we are going to be going over basically the ultimate guide to getting DeMar DeRozan and kind of what it looks like in NBA 2K22, my team. Now before we dive any further into that, remember this is a lifetime agenda so it's going to be under that lifetime agendas tab if you are new to the channel and have not yet please consider smash and subscribe but as we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers so right here in the bottom left it says moments of the month complete moments of the month lifetime agendas to earn up to 21 different moments cards so you guys know the 20 moments cards and then the 21st is the martyr rose but what does it look like here's what it looks like okay you got all these challenges, 25 different challenges to complete that you guys can see right here. Let's just look at some of the first ones, okay? So we're in 125 points over multiple single player games and then 250 points over multiple single player games. So that could be with any player. It doesn't really matter. Now, obviously, you're probably going to want to combo those things up, but it's tough because you got to get some of these rubies done before you can move any higher. So where it says, you know, eight three-pointers with Max Strauss, you're going to need to get him out of that ruby option pack in which there is five cards. So when I go ahead into 2K database, okay, and I go look at the updates and look at some of the moments cards, here's what I see, okay? does look like moments wise there's five moments cards so you get an option pack and you get to choose uh any of the five cards but it doesn't really matter what you choose because you're gonna need all of them to work on the next kind of uh, the ami tier is what i'm gonna call it uh in which you get the ami option pack so it doesn't really matter uh, what I would try to maybe do, because you're going to have to do them in different stuff, uh, is no matter what first one you do, try to combo it up with the next one. So let's say let's say this, okay? After you get this, let's say you're trying to get this single player challenge done, okay? Let's say you go into domination, whatever, you get all these points. Heck, maybe you get Max uh, Strews first, and then you can continue working on his or whatever else, so then you can get your first Ami player. And then with your first Ami player, heck, maybe you want, uh, maybe it's the five three pointers in clutch time, and then you can work on the clutch time uh, and kind of combo those up. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but basically, pick pick whatever one you want to do first. Okay, maybe the quickest one to do is the seventy five points in clutch time or unlimited, maybe even triple threat online, whatever that may be. But then you can maybe get Max Struess and then work towards the single player stuff. Heck, even even uh, anything that you can get in single player done uh, that that you might want to do. Max, it looks like, is the only player that you could do. I guess the single player you could maybe do uh, Metsu as well as this could be done in Triple Threat offline as well. So you could maybe do some other things as well. But the big thing is trying to combo some things up. So looks like every single one of these outside of Jalen Noel can be done in Multiplier. So with Jalen Noel, maybe that's the first guy you choose in the single player because you're not going to be able to get his done in the single player. So maybe you choose Jalen Noel and then use Jalen Noel, which you need 29 points over multiple games and unlimited clutch time, whatever that may be. Now, this grind, it's going to take a while. It's not going to be a very easy grind, but I think it's going to be a, a fun grind at that, right? And again, just trying to combo things up, I do think is going to be kind of the best method for you. But once you get like Jalen Noel uh, outside, obviously Jalen Noel, uh, you need multiplayer game. So if you do the 125, choose Jalen Noel, then you can start working on other stuff. But these other guys, it looks like can be done in single player games. And then you look at, you know, who is the next best dude to choose at that diamond tier, right? Jalen Noel is who I'd recommend most. So I'd grind the single player stuff, choose Jalen Noel probably first, unless you want to get all the single player stuff done. Uh, first uh, and then you might want to you know choose max but i try to combo up max this year seven and and uh as well as metsu and daniel gafford because all those can be done in single player while noel is the only multiplayer game so hopefully that one makes kind of sense for you guys now head into kind of the diamond tier so let's say after you get uh, an amethyst player done so let's say you get Jalen noel is done okay then what do you want to do well robert williams is a player that if you could do robert williams is thing in single player games maybe find a way to get robert williams before this single player thing is done and be able to hop into a domination game with let's say robert williams uh let's go with uh domination you probably want max 
some of those guys that's what i recommend because robert williams you're gonna have to go into a challenge game a domination game something like that to get it done so it's probably the first guy i'd choose uh as long as uh, but if you need a if you need a multiplayer game then you're probably looking elsewhere right if you need a multiplayer game heck clutch time or even you know triple threat uh offline same thing that's tough with josh gideas he needs a triple double as well but what i will say is this in one domination game I, I don't know if it's going to be possible to get both Josh Giddy and Robert Williams' triple-double. I think it probably is possible, but it's going to be tough to do. You might have to go into two different domination games to get both of those done, which is tough because it's just hard to obviously combo those things up with a lot of these triple threat online and offline games, okay? But what I would tell you guys to do is try to save this score 75 points until the last, right? Try to get clutch time unlimited, all these things done. And, and have Jalen Noel's all that done because then you're gonna have to go into triple threat online triple threat offline for your to good you have to go into triple threat online offline for Metu as well as Daniel Gafford so Gafford Metu and Yurtsevin are probably the last three guys I'd choose at the first choose at the first tier get Max Struess and Jalen Noel's done but then at the at the next tier it's tough because you got Josh Giddy and Robert Williams who both need triple doubles the rest of them are easy like Okiki's six deals in, in triple threat that's easy Devontae Grant what is it? Five four pointers. Five four pointers in clutch time. It's easy enough to do. Sadiq Bay rebounds over multiplayer game. So heck, you can use clutch time. You can do clutch time for both Sadiq and Devontae Graham. Heck, even Okiki is going to be easy enough to do. The triple doubles in domination. Those are going to take a while, right? That's definitely going to take a while to get done. And so those are probably the guys I'd get first. It's not. It's not really about the who's the best player you can get. It's if you're trying to get DeRozan who helps you get there the fastest so hopefully that helps you know i'd get max and, and noel at the first tier at the second tier uh you're probably uh, i don't know who you're probably looking at you're probably looking at robert williams as well as josh giddy and then after that i'd probably go sadiq bay Devonte graham and then after that you're just gonna have to go get those steals with uh chuma at the last tier, or at the second to last tier, let's just look at it, okay? Let's just look at the pink diamond tier. Who we got? Mitchell Robinson needs five blocks and eight rebounds in a single game. Is that doable in triple third offline? Probably. Okay, it probably is, but it might be tough. Domination might be the best mode to go. I'm thinking in triple third offline, you can get that thing done, though. You're just going to have to extend the game pretty long. 43 points with uh, Anthony Simons over multiple triple third online games. Easy to do. 38 points over multiple multiplayer games. Easy to do. Eight three-pointers over multiple games. Easy to do. Diallo, 34 points and 14 rebounds. That's the hardest one to do. I like knocking the hardest ones out first, and so I'd probably do Diallo's first. Hey, what I would do, get Diallo, get Robinson, go into a domination game, combo those things up. Because what you don't want to have to do is go into two separate domination games uh, and, and work on stuff, which you might have to do with Robert Williams and Josh Kitty. But if, I think you can get Mitchell Robinson's and Diallo's done in the same game. And the rest of these are easy, right? The rest of these, I mean, triple threat online, you can really go in with all three of these guys and you can just work on it. So definitely at the pink diamonds here, Robinson and Diallo are the first guys I would get to start working on them. And then the last five are just, it, it looks like option packs and it says five diamond option packs, which I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. Says December moments of the month uh, consumed with option packs. So I don't know, but it does say 23 re uh, rebounds with moments. Clint Capella. Let's see what else. 44 points with Kemba Walker over TTO games. 56 points with Trey Young over clutch time games. Easy enough. 50 points and one steal with moments rewards Jalen Brown in a single challenge game. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And the, and the reason I say it's a tough one is because, I mean, a lot of these you can't do it with. Now, what I would say is this. You can combo the Jalen Brown one up with the Kelly Oubre one. Nine three-pointers and six rebounds. You can maybe combo that up in a challenge game with uh, Jalen Brown. Uh, it's going to be tough, though. At the end of the day, it's going to be tough because, I mean, you're looking at, what, at least 77 points in the challenge game. But I do think you can combo those things up. So you guys might have a different approach than me. I like getting the hardest things done first. But at the first tier, obviously, you can uh, you can get Jalen Noel and work in, triple, in, in like clutch time unlimited. But I would wait to do triple threat online until you have Gafford done, until you have Metu, and until you have uh, your spin. Otherwise, you're going to waste time, right? If you're not taking all of them into triple threat online, you're not going to be able to really combo that thing up. So that's kind of what I do. Obviously, you're not going to be able to have all these cards when you go into that game. 
But try to get unlimited done, maybe with Jalen Noel, whatever else, before you go into these games uh, with 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 the triple threat online. Because just trying to combo those things up while you scored 75 points in triple threat online, I think is very important. So no matter what way you go about it, guys, it's still going to be a grind. I mean, it is going to be a grind for DeMar DeRozan. Now, do I think it's a grind that's going to take that long? Quite honestly, not really. I mean, I really don't think this grind is going to take that long. I expect people to have this thing done today probably honestly in the next five hours like this grind is not that bad at all like i really expect people to have this thing done in like five or so hours for demar Derozan. is it worth it well i mean i honestly think it is for everything you get even for card collector for whatever these diamond katsubas are i think this is definitely worth the grind plus you're getting a really really solid jalen brown and demar Derozan card that's kind of my breakdown of the new moments of the month i'm it's sad that you don't get xp with it but I definitely do think it is worth your guys' grind. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Again, just try to combo some things up. Even if, if you don't have XP and you're trying to grind XP, maybe that's something you can do if you have to go into a domination game, for example. There's really not that much strategy that goes into it. Outside of if you see multiple people with TTO, so heck, even if you can't get them all done, if you have Metu, uh, which is just 11 points in one block, get his done. You get Gafford in there, which is six blocks in your spin. You can work uh, in, in multiple areas with these guys. That's all there is to really say about that. Just try to combo some things up. Jalen Noel, it's just going to be tough uh, because, I mean, heck, he can do it in triple threat online, I guess. So maybe Max Struess is the guy I recommend getting first because he is the offline guy. It's just really tough to try to wrap your head around how to really combo everything up. The best thing I can say is when you do get the option pack, think, what do I have left to grind? Because if you have, you know, triple threat online and you're at the diamonds here, well, it's probably smart to get a guy you can use in triple threat online, like Chuma Okiki probably instead of going and getting Josh Giddy, who you really can't use. It's going to be a grind. I think it's going to be worth it for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.